Hello humans. I want to make a bold claim in this video and then back it up. The claim is that the universe is big. Okay, so that's not so bold. Any young school kid with a brain can tell you that. But if they've got a particularly good brain, they will probably tell you that the universe is big to us. It's relatively big. If we were as big as a galaxy, say, then the universe would be smaller. If we were big enough ourselves, then the universe could even be described as being small. I'm going to ignore the question about whether the universe is infinite right now and assume that it isn't. My answer to this brainy school kid is that they're very smart and thinking about these big ideas is a great thing to do and they should keep it up. But I've got something amazing to tell them. The universe is big and not just to us, but in any meaningful absolute sense. I'm making a claim that the universe is big with a capital B. And here's why. Something that has made the press recently is a NASA video proving how crushingly slow the speed of light is. To get even to the nearest stars takes years. To get to the nearest galaxies will take thousands or even millions of years, and for the physics buffs, I am ignoring relativistic effects, as they aren't relevant to the point here. So imagine you're a giant, your head is as big as the distance between the solar system and the nearest star, four light years. If you were to take a few steps forward, you'd be travelling through the stars like this. Note that even at this size, as demonstrated in my Learning to Fly series, the galaxy is still massive. It would still take many hours to walk, or without a flaw I guess the word would be swim, to the other side. But wait, something's not right here, didn't we say that the speed of light is crushingly slow, especially to giant you? To simply nod in agreement with me would take a couple of years. Clearly, being this big is going to be immensely boring. Even you can't move faster than the speed of light, so that swimming lap to the other side of the galaxy is going to take you over 100,000 years. Even just waving to a friend floating around in the Omega Nebula would take you a decade or two. Alright, well, again, our brilliant school kid can tell you that if you were this big, you'd experience time at a different rate. Your thoughts would be slowed down. The nerves in your brain can only send signals at the speed of light too. You'd experience time that's natural for you, and indeed crossing the galaxy, while it may take 100,000 years from our point of view, from your point of view it would be like only a few hours. So let's use this trick and keep going. Now your head is the size of a galaxy. You can swim around the local cluster of galaxies without any problems. Time is going at a crazy rate for you. A simple calculation tells me that each second for you would have to be millions of years for us down on human scale. It takes 2 million years to get to the nearest big galaxy Andromeda at the speed of light, so Giant You has to get there, and when you are this big, it will feel like a minute or so. To avoid horrible relativistic effects like time dilation, Doppler effects, length contraction and whatnot, we can't just make it so you're travelling at the speed of light. The speed of light still has to be much faster than you can actually travel, so it really does need to be millions of years passing for each second you experience for this to work. Okay fine, but we can still keep going. We can still make ourselves so big that the universe feels small. Let's make it so that our head is as big as 100 million light years. Now the universe really does feel small. Galaxies become mere dust motes that wash past your eyes. To swim from one end of the visible universe to the other at this size would take a few minutes from your point of view. And even the estimated size of the entire universe itself becomes something you can probably see in a day or so. The universe is still pretty big, but we're getting there. But this is where the problem comes in. In order to avoid the relativistic effects, time would have to be passing at a crazy rate for you. Hundreds of billions of years would pass for every second you experience. You'd never see any bright galaxies. They would all fizzle away into dim collections of cold stars before you could blink. Those cold stars would die in under a minute and you'd be left swimming in a quickly expanding dark universe filled with dead stars. The universe would cease to be a universe in any meaningful sense at this size. All stars would degenerate or fall into black holes in your lifetime. Shall we make ourselves bigger? So big that the universe is small? Is there any point? If time were to slow down further still, we'd be looking at the heat death or big rip of the universe happening easily in the lifetime of anything large enough to perceive the universe as being truly small. Such a being itself wouldn't be able to exist. Its protons would decay so fast it would degenerate, it would disintegrate before it's lived any kind of meaningful life. If it was made of energy, it would expand and fizzle away. There is no way any kind of conscious being capable of making a determination of something as meaningful as big or small can exist in any meaningful way in this universe. The universe is big. The universe is massive. It is way bigger, scales upon scales of comprehension bigger than we can ever dream of understanding. And this makes me happy. It's absolutely big. Big with a capital B. And I wouldn't want to live in any other kind of universe. So long humans.